Hey friends, welcome to day 14 of Dr. Morse's Monkey Diet Challenge. <laughs> we made it! <laughs> it is the last day of our raw food challenge. Guys, I want you to take a moment to celebrate all of your hard work these last two weeks. Whether you were 100% raw or if you had a little bit of cooked food here and there to stay grounded, you did a fantastic job. Guys, you got to experience the power of raw food eating. And hopefully, we got to all experience some kind of healing crisis together and understand better how we can work through those uncomfortable symptoms at home. So fantastic job, guys. I am so happy and so very grateful to have all of you join me these last two weeks. So quick update on today before we get into the topic, which is using critical thinking and taking personal responsibility for your health. Alrighty, today was better than yesterday. I can tell that my appetite is slowly but surely coming back after that healing crisis. Still not quite where I would like it to be, but it's all the work in progress, guys. You just gotta be patient with your body. All right, I started my day with my tinctures and red raspberry leaf tea. Since I am on my monthly cycle, I want to continue to support my hormones. I broke my fast with some watermelon. Um, the hubs and I needed to go out today, and so I ordered a nice big raw salad, and there was a nice mix of greens, cucumber, bell pepper, um, and some carrot and red onion. I used up the rest of that raw dressing that I had. It was a smoky chipotle, which was quite delicious. But one word of caution, friends, after you have been eating raw for some time, and I mean, that could just be a week or two weeks at a time, I would caution you to be weary of using too much onion and garlic. They are delicious, yes, but they are quite pungent. And as we move this mucus out of our bodies, remember that there is less of a buffered against incoming acids and incoming foods and constituents that are a bit pungent. I waited a few hours before I started on my grape and lemon juice for the day. I wanted to make sure that those vegetables had enough time to move through my system before I put any kind of fruit or fruit juice on top of that. Food combining 101. I will still check in with you tomorrow to show you what I'm eating as I transition from this raw food challenge and I'll share with you some takeaways that I have gathered from the last two weeks. And on that note, let's get to today's topic, using critical thinking and taking personal responsibility for your health. When we decide to embark on a healing journey, we must use critical thinking and we must take personal responsibility for our own health. Friends, it is very important that we become our own health advocates. My hope is that the last two weeks you have started to understand more of how to listen to your body, of what your body's natural cues are, and what your body is really asking for. My hope is that as we continue these conversations, that you will continue to be educated and empowered to take a more active role in your health. This does require a good deal of critical thinking, friends. Especially when we're first starting our journeys, it can be all too easy to become quite overwhelmed with all of the new information coming at us. It can be too easy to be overly anxious about the process or to let our egos get in the way and think that we have to force our bodies through a protocol that does not feel right. And so I hope that as I traversed the last two weeks with this great feast that turned into a grape juice and watermelon feast is just one example of the balance and the grace and the compassion that we have to have for our bodies along our healing journeys. The mind and the ego often think that they know what's best for the body. But our bodies have their own awareness and their own consciousness, and our bodies know what they are doing. So it is important that as we learn what our bodies are asking for, as we learn what foods affect our bodies, as we start to hydrate and alkalize, it's really important that we continue to develop that critical thinking. Always check in with your body and ask it if it's happy. If it's not happy, take some time 
to pay attention to where do you feel the discomfort? Are you noticing swelling? Are you noticing irritation, inflammation, right? And we all know that this is just under that big umbrella called acidosis. And friends, we know how to reverse that. How do we do it? We hydrate and we alkalize. And that's it. How do we do that? We turn to our, our fresh raw fruits and vegetables, right? Fresh raw fruits and vegetables, clean water, clean air. We have to move our lymph. We have to make sure that our kidneys are filtering out that lymphatic waste because that will help us to stay hydrated as well. On top of developing critical thinking, we have to take personal responsibility for our health. Friends, you are your own health advocate. As we were growing up, as we were children, there was either a, a parent or some guardian that was in charge of our health. They were the ones calling the shots. They were the ones standing up for us. They were the ones voicing concerns to doctors. But as we grow up and as we become adults, that's our responsibility and our responsibility alone. When we become adults, it's no longer our parents' responsibility. It is not our children's responsibility. It is our responsibility to take care of our health. And so I challenge you, friends, as you continue to explore these different lifestyles and explore these different ways of eating and to find what works best for you, always remember that you are are in charge of your health. If you are not happy where you are at with your health right now, you are in charge of that. You're in the driver's seat, friends. You know how to turn it around. And so it is up to you to do that hard work. And yes, it is hard work. Anyone that tries to tell you otherwise is just trying to sell you something. Eating healthy takes prep. It takes time energy, very real effort. It's not as convenient. You can't just roll up to a place like a drive through place and get really great raw food. There are maybe some places, but most places, especially where I'm at, those places don't exist. I can certainly roll up and get something that will clog my arteries, <laughs> but it's my responsibility to pass that up to go to the grocery store, to get my fresh produce, to come back home, prep it, put that food in my body, right? It is up to me to take care of my health. I can't put that on my husband. I can no longer blame my parents because it is my choice. Every single day, what I put in and on my body, what I breathe, what I drink, what I think, it is all up to us, friends, and this takes very real personal responsibility. We need critical thinking and personal responsibility in order to make this lifestyle work long term. And friends, it's very important to understand that detox is not a lifestyle. Detox is a natural process that the body goes through. It is important to understand how to use food and chemistry in order to help our bodies through that detoxification process. We can either help our bodies or we can hinder our bodies. And understanding how to do that changes the whole game. So if you decide to use a little bit more balance in your everyday life, friends, there's nothing wrong with that. Whole plant foods are delicious. They are quite healthy. But if you are ready and willing or you feel you need to dig in, we know how. Critical thinking will allow us to ask questions like, is my body happy with this protocol? If yes, continue. If no, let's tweak. How do I tweak? Do I not feel hydrated enough? Am I moving my bowels too much? Is my blood pressure dipping too low? Right? These are all questions that we need to be asking, and these are just some of the ways that we start to develop that critical thinking along the way. Personal responsibility calls on us to take action when we are not feeling well, to take action when we are congested, to take action to proactively clean and strengthen our bodies to prevent issues further down the road. 
Well, that is it, friends, for day 14 of Dr. Morse's Monkey Diet Challenge. Guys, I still cannot believe that we went by this two weeks so quickly. We did a fantastic job. I am proud of each and every one of you. I thank you so very much for joining me along this journey, for all of your wonderful love, your support. I appreciate all of your questions. That is what helps this conversation keep going. So please, guys, keep them coming. Drop me some comments down below to let me know what future topics you would like to discuss in videos. I'll add that to the list. So again, I will check in with you tomorrow to show you what I'm eating as I transition from the raw food challenge. I'll share with you some takeaways that I gathered over the last two weeks, and uh, then we'll have a little party just to celebrate all of the hard work that we've done. So again, friends, thank you so very much. Give yourselves a fantastic round of applause, a big pat on the back. You're awesome. Have a beautiful night, friends. We'll chat tomorrow.